All right, IBAASL2, um, we've come to another stopping point about learning and with learning integration. Um, we're going to have a test soon over two learning targets. The first learning target is going to be definite integral concepts. I mean, it's going to fall underneath our actual learning target of integration concepts, but we're only doing definite integrals on this, on this assessment. Uh, remember that anytime you're doing an integral, you're really finding the area underneath the curve uh, with respect to the x-axis. Things being above, being positive, and area being below, being negative. Um, you should know how to find the area under the curve geometrically. And the uh, four shapes we're going to hold you guys responsible for are triangle, trapezoid, circle, and rectangle. So you should know the area equations uh, of those four shapes. Um, there might be problems where we ask you guys to do it both ways, where you find it both geometrically using an area formula and you find it with a definite integral. Um, in the homework, there was a lot of problems that came up where you had to kind of know how to work with integrals conceptually without knowing the actual function. So they might just put an f of x in there and you don't know what it is, but then they ask you to integrate certain, you know, with respect to like one to five f of x dx, uh, you know, where you know that this is some number, say this was 20, and then they ask you to do certain things with that fact, but you don't actually know the actual function. Um, to be able to do that, you should know some of the properties of integration. Uh, know that if you split up an interval, that you can just take the integration of those separate intervals and then add them together to uh, get the interval or the integration of the whole interval. The second target that's going to be on there is definite integral techniques. Once again, this target is just going to be called integration techniques in our learning targets, but we're only doing it with definite integrals. Um, big, big part of this is the fundamental theorem of calculus. Remember, that's if you take an integral from A to B that you find the antiderivative and then do capital F of uh, B minus capital F of A, top minus bottom. Um, yeah, know how to find antiderivatives in, in a variety of ways and then uh, plug in those values, subtract them from each other. That's the fundamental theorem of calculus. The last thing we did in this section is we uh, did basically the fundamental theorem of calculus, but we threw some U substitution in there. So know how to do u-substitution, and uh, remember if you're doing a definite integral with u-substitution, you have to redefine the top and bottom uh, intervals in terms of u by plugging the top and bottoms into your u equation to figure out what the new top and bottoms are. Um, that's really it for the test. So um, yeah, happy studying.